Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back. Oh, gosh. Did I do the thing? Ah, there we go. Did it, is it still recording? Still recording? Got sound? All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video, where tonight I, uh, I am not going to be able to record hunting spookwood because it's not spooky season for me yet. It is for you. Guess what? It is October 1st. It should be after 6 a.m. on the 1st. So Spookwood is spawning inside the game. Go hunt. Be on your way. But know that I can't. So instead, I am going to give you some lessons. And first things first, we need to set up a long uh, plank creator, which look at this. Oh wait, one, two, three. Oh yeah, it's a long plank creator. Look at that. We are already on our way. So um, what we need to do is go and find a particular piece of elm. Hold on, what do I have on me? I got the amber axe, mint axe. I don't want any of these axes. I know that these are good for flinging and all the other stuff, but it's not what I want. Boing, boing, boing. Here we go. Get rid of you. Goodbye. Hello. You say goodbye. And I say hello. Is that the end time text? Yes. Done. All right. And, um, okay. Even though I got like all these awesome pieces, I should totally go long planking with those. No, 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 no. We need to show you how to make a long plank, how to move a long plank, control a long plank, how to be the long plank. Do you even long plank, bro? Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna make a song about long planking. <gasps> it's gonna be amazing. Oh, don't kick me off. Did somebody just load in right there? Oh no. Hold on. I am experiencing lag, my friends. What was that all about? <sighs> all right, so you see this uh, elm tree right here? Uh, we got oaks all around, and then this elm off the ground. So what we want to do is, and it's because I need to do a couple of these, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques. The first thing is called uh, tree throwing. <laughs> and if you don't understand how the mechanics works, it's fine. I will show you shortly. All right, so we just fling like that. Oh my goodness, what is that? Why are, or is there a box? Go away. Go away, box. <laughs> All right. And. Fl oh, fl oh, come here. Did I, did I run into it? I did. Hold on. Back off a little bit, code. There we go. Now we should be able to rock it. Rock it, rock it. Whack. There it goes. All right. This way. Zing. Whoa. Almost took me with you. <laughs> Anyhow, the reason I'm taking this whole tree over there is because I want um, all those pieces. Each one's a perfect example of how to create long planks. Uh, and basically, we need the big pieces because we need the mass. Um, Something that would work really well if you can get it to work is lava wood. Like one of the really big pieces of lava does work really well too. But I digress. Actually, why are we taking this whole thing? I just need like this one. And we'll, we'll grab like two more, maybe. Um, put down in the comments, what are you going as for Halloween? What are you, what are you dressing up for? Trick or treats. I think I'm going to stick with a pirate. I might might go with um, I don't I don't know something piratey. Uh, I have a witch doctor outfit that I've I've used. It's a goodie. It's an oldie. If I don't come up with something, then I'll just I'll throw that on. It's fun. Mm, I think you guys have I shown that to you. I don't, I don't remember if I wore that one on camera or not. Somebody might remember, but not me. I don't remember. All right. I'll just grab two more. Two more. Yep, two more. 
Yeah, two more. Boom. And hold on, that one now. Yay! All right, so now that we've got our wood, I will head over to our long plank maker and I'll explain why I set it up like this. Um, the long planks themselves, they get long and they're going to want to fall and hit the ground. If they hit your base, they will stop moving and get stuck causing the um, sawmill to mess up and eventually it'll just drop it out and that's it. And sometimes it's not even choppable. So what you have to do, what you need to do, what you must do, if you, like me, have problems with the physics of this game, then you will want to have one straight and three inclines, just like that. And what this is going to do, it will keep the back end of the, uh, the long plank inside the, the sawmill while pivoting the front end off of the ground. That way it will continue to move forward. So, <clears throat> the other thing that you want to do is have a good run to it. I mean, you can just chuck a log in there, but not always, it doesn't always work. And the other reason that I'm pointing it that direction is so it can go down the hill. But we need to be able to create long planks at will. And the best way to do this is just set everything all the way down. If you try and make a long plank like this, you're going to get one of those really bad glitchy boards that just goes crazy and nobody can control it. So bring that X axis all the way up to about a 1.4, maybe even a 1.6, who knows? But I'm gonna leave it at 1.4. Now look, this is the cross section. It looks like a good, like a, not a two by four, yeah, yeah, that's a two by four, wouldn't it be? Or a one by four, I don't know. Anyhow, this is not a board that you would normally walk on, but the physics of this means that we don't have to worry about a uh, sagging board. So there is no breaking of a board, right? So off we go. Grab your biggest piece. If you got a sawmill max, you're good. Uh, if you've got one of the regular ones, um, you do need to measure it out, which if you measure it sign to sign, you should be fine. Here it goes. Hopefully the lag doesn't get us. Yay, our first long plank of the season. <laughs> and here's the other thing. I've been trying, okay? And I cannot get this to work. I'm literally in tears over here trying to get the, the... Hold on, not that. I don't need that menu. I need this menu. Shift, there we go. Close. So, um, I, I can't, I literally can't. I, I don't know if I'm just not doing it right or whatever, but you know, I'm, I'm done trying that because it's it's hard <laughs> maybe it's a skills issue <laughs> but uh leave me a note in the comments down below how many of you can do that and better yet how many of you can do it without the candy cane axe or not the candy cane the candy corn axe the candy corn axe seems to be the only one that has the the like climbing ladder effect i seen i i saw uh, somebody tr attempt it and it like kind of worked, but not really. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go back to this because this I can do, but a lot of people can't control these. And if you're playing on mobile, good luck. I don't know how to control these on mobile. Um, VR, not so much. I haven't tried, but, um, it's just getting used to the physics and how this works. <sighs> the thing that's moving is not the board. Okay, I want you to, to, to understand this about long planking. The thing that's actually moving is that ball right there, okay? And that ball has to move all of that mass around itself. So when I hold shift and I start to rotate, 
That ball wants to come back to center. It tries to come back to center. But when you rotate it, it is flying away from its center. And that's because of the, the mass of the board. I have noticed when you have a board facing flat like this and you try and turn your camera left or right, that board is not happy. It does not want to move. And you will lose control really fast. So take that board, hold Shift S and tilt it straight up. Take your time. Just tap, tap, tap. And once the board is about even, guess what you can do? You just turn and then press Shift W and just lower that board right back down. So whenever you're making a turn, just remember, bring the board up 90 degrees, turn nice and easy, bring it back down. Okay. Also, if you start to lose control of the board, let go. If it starts going wobbly and you cannot control it, let go. That's the, like the best advice I can give you because that board will do crazy amounts of things. Anyhow, let's get started. Um, you're going to need to have different kinds of boards for different kinds of situations. In this particular situation that I've got, it doesn't look... Okay, that board will get me up uh, a couple of rocks, but it will not get me up um, large structured rocks. Like that thing up there? That's a large rock. Um, I can find my way around it, but anyhow. Long planking is the act of using one of these things. I'm basically spelunking up and around all the, uh, the map. <laughs> spelunking is like, I guess that's more caves, isn't it? This is more rock climbing, hiking. Like I said, it's just going to get used to uh, how the board moves, how the physics works. Um, if you touch something with the board, it will go crazy. So tap. Oh, oh look at that. And it tries to correct itself, dampening right back to where it was. And we're good. Oh, 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 careful, 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 careful. All right. Oh man, could you guys remember long planking? L the videos of long planking. Uh, if you need to get to somewhere fast, long plank. It's the only thing I gotta say. Long plank 101. It's like a, a highway to the, the lumber. Ooh. Save, 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 save. See? See those physics? All right. Um, okay, when you do come up on a wall that is being quite difficult. Never mind. We're good. All right. So see how this is kind of sticking up? If I grab it here, it's, it's doable, but that is a long way to rotate backwards. So... It makes it difficult, right? Let's say I didn't have that. All right, what I can do is come down here, grab and lift, kind of like sideways, kind of like I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's a, um, I almost feel like when you put the ball on the side, it feels like you're reaching over with your arm to grab it and pull it back. If, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know, the physics of the game feels a certain way with long planks. You do have to be in first person. I don't know anybody that can do long planking in third person. It just gets wiggly. I guess you could stabilize it a lot easier though. Oh yeah, that's wiggles. Nope. First person. Maybe it's because the mouse is restricted to like a first person shooter. Is that why it's easier for me to control it in first person? Anyhow, when you do come up to a wall and you um, have a plank that is not long enough, the maximum climbing angle that you can have, I think is 88 
degrees. That's like two degrees off 90. So see this? See this like impossibly curved, like angled, that's, that's 86 degrees, 86 degrees from 90 degrees, right? You can climb it. Oh, don't fall. But, oh gosh. So when you get in a situation where, oh, where your long plank just isn't long enough, try to set it as flat as you can, climb to the top and see if you can't jump that last little bit. All right, we're not going that way. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll go the other direction. Actually, wait, we can go through the swamp, right? The swamp's this way? Yeah, we can go through the swamp. Actually, can I cross over to the other side? Is that... Is that gap over here? Hold on, there's a gap, right? Yeah, there's gaps over here. We'll go long planking along the bridge, the bridge line. A lot of people don't ever go over here. I mean, it's not really an open space of the game. Ah, wee. I'm sure you've been flung over here a couple times, but to walk over here on purpose. It's... Is there still a gap under this rock? No, it's just a shadow. Okay, good. I'd like to follow to you. There used to be a gap under one of them. I don't remember which rock it was a long time ago. <laughs> Long planking. Wee! <laughs> Sorry. I think we need to have a long planking caravan, like an entire base, an entire server of everybody just making long planks. <laughs> I hope there's no exploiters this year. Like, I know, um, I know that a lot of the changes that Roblox did to um, its security broke a lot of exploits, which, good, no offense, but it felt like part of, the, I don't know, it just, it felt like A lot of exploiters left lumber and it feels like a lot of exploiters are gone and I don't know if you just moved on or if it's just not as popular as it was used to be um, I did go and check eBay there's still a lot of people selling base drops base drops on eBay which by the way you can't do that it's against the terms of service you can get reported blah 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 anyhow it's also selling a non-tangible item for tangible currency, which is taxable by federal law. So I don't know how you're doing that either. But, again, it just feels like since all the updates, I, I don't know. It, it feels cleaner. It feels like a lot of the exploiters are gone. It feels like a lot of the servers don't have as many problems that's a dead tree right not a spook tree I can't get spook trees plus it's a private server it'd take at least three three hours before anything would happen yeah it's a dead tree it's gone see see I told you it's fine anyhow back to long blinking <laughs> Um, oh, also, uh, Void Death. Apparently, Void Death will affect... Hold on, where am I at? 
I'm like, why is there a cut right here? Is there something I'm missing? Nope. Alright. The uh, safari hole is right below me. Is it the safari? Safari? I don't know what you, this, this one's called. It's a cave of some kind. I don't even remember what it's called. Hold on. Let me go uh, wiki this real quick. Uh, wiki lumber take into. There we go. Cool. Yes. Um, the savannah hole. Um, the safari hole. There it is. That's what it's called. The safari hole. Um, I'm not going to leave a link to it. You guys can look it up yourselves if you want. Uh, the safari hole is a teleportation passage leading from the maze um, or the lone cave into the cliffside uh, hole at the safari. It is a one-way <clears throat> teleport from the maze to the cave or from the lone cave to the cave. Here, here. Um, which, the, the one hole, the one with teleportation, uh, it can be highly useful for faster ways of getting items back to the maze, um, as a more reliable way to exit the lonely cave. That's true too. If you're ever in a hurry and you don't want to wait on the thing, drop your entire tree, just chop it up and drop it into the, uh, the hole. That way you can make sure you take a light with you, drop a light down in it first, because it'll teleport there. So, anyhow, long story short, long planks. Ooh, oh, oh, I bet I could long plank like that. Challenge accepted. Hold on, get back over there. There we go. Boink. All oh, skills. I'm just kidding. Mm. In order to get um, to the green box, um, properly, you have to be able to long plank, and in order to do so, all three must be as long as your truck, or all four must be as long as your truck. Um, yeah, let's head over into the swamp. I mean, basically we are long planking, which means we can go pretty much wherever we want. We want up or down, left or right. Long Plank is our guide. Ooh, cold feet. The water is cold. The swamp always gives me the creeps. And I know there's nothing here. It's just... I don't know. I don't like it. Now, in a situation like this, where you can't really... Oh, I can grab. Ooh. Never mind. I was able to still grab it. Sometimes you just have to readjust. Like, go back down, fix your mistake at, at landing it in the first place, and then bring it back up. If you are with friends, don't let them grab the long plank, because network ownership. If you cut the plank, if you're the network ownership of the plank, and they're standing on it, you can cause that thing to go herky-jerky flying all over the place. Um, do I recommend long planking alone? Yes, but at the same time, no. Because I've found once you lose a long plank, you're kind of stuck. And if you have a buddy there that's bringing one along with you, you have two chances. <laughs> so... The more the merrier. <gasps> no. If. Oh, come on. Oh, if you can all long plank. Woo, that was scary. All right, grab it under the arm. Oh, look, I can joust. <laughs> I'm a knight, jousting. Is this off the edge? This is off the edge. The edge of the world into the void. Um, 
There's not more built over there, is there? No. Impossible. Somebody would have told me. The wiki would have been like, God, there's more building. Go do it. Alright, hold on. I wish there were a way I could, like, change the music. I mean, it's kind of depressing just doing this the whole time. Will it change once I get over the rocks? I don't remember if the music changes. Hmm. Happy Halloween, everyone. Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> uh, what's down here? Ah, <gasps> sand. It's a sandbar. Could I land in that? That is water, right? Hold on. Let me get over the edge here. What is that down there? What is that? Is that just a shadow? That's just a shadow. That's nothing. Oh, that thing way off in the background. That's the end. End times. Oh, by the way, on October 31st, end times day. Is October 31st? Yeah. On Halloween. On my dad's birthday. All these kinds of reminders. Go get the rookie axe because it will be the end times axe, not the rookie axe. It is the one time of the year that you can get the end times axe, so go stock up. If you haven't stocked up yet, go, go, go. Get as much as possible. The same way that you get the rookie axe, uh, it turns into the end times axe only on October 31st. So be sure, be ready. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for awesome, amazing content. If you want, no pressure. I do have two million. Hmm. Don't get sideways on me. There it goes. See, it's just trying to dampen back to, to the beginning. And because we're moving sideways, it moves sideways too. Can we go down there? Can we go down there? Should we go down there? Let's go down there. Oh, there's nothing special down there. All right, it's just a rock. Actually, it's not just a rock. It's part of the path. I should not diss it. It's not just a rock. It's an amazing piece of geode that somehow became perfectly rectangular shaped. <laughs> just saying. see anything down there so I'm pretty sure nothing's down there so. Wink. By the way, how many of you, this is the first time you've seen long planking in action? Like, did you know you could do this? Have I been away that long? I, I know all of my tutorial videos on how to make the long planks and how to do the long planks. They're old, but like, the physics still works. Look at that. And that's smooth, stable. This is a big rock. Okay. It's a massive rock. What are we doing all the way over here? Hold 
Hold on a second. Not camera sensitivity. Where's so volume, volume, volume. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, maybe maybe it's just my headphones. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm hearing an echo, and I thought it was another person's footsteps. I'm like, there's nobody else logged in. So, no. It's just... <laughs> wow. Talk about a wait. Like, I'm already sitting here like, yay, Halloween. We're going to have scary... And it just, wow. That just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm like, there's somebody in here with me. <laughs> there's not. Promise. It's just me by myself. So, um... Let's go back to menu settings and volume or music. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a little scary. Not going to lie. All right. Well, this is a big one here. Can't see under there. So, um, whoa, that became unstable. Oh, oh, over here. This way, this way. Here we go. Zoom. And we should be able to get back as long as I don't lose my uh, long plank. But I have been over there before. Shall we try and go walk over there? I mean, it's it's already the end, so I I can I can outro it and we'll just walk it over there. I think that'd be fun. Anyhow. Make sure you uh, keep in mind how to long plank. And take a long plank with you. That uh, is required for the situation. If it's too long, it will become unstable. Turn them sideways. Put them in the back of your cars. All kinds of good stuff. And JB, just for you this year, I am going to clean my screen. In fact, I'm going to do that before tomorrow. Because that's when the actual spook hunting starts for me. <laughs> so... Um, past that, there's nothing else over here. Wait, what is that? Is that just a piece of rock sticking out from the other side? Probably. All right. I'm going to try this. Hopefully I don't die. All right, go! <clears throat> don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes! Nice. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> so, just so you know, <laughs> look, there's end times. And look, there's the cave over there. Wait, what is that? What's that three thing right there? Hmm. Anybody see what that is right there? Is that possibly... I don't know what that is. What is that? Hmm. Oh, I saw a tree fall way off in the distance over there. That was crazy. All right. Walking this way. Because why not? I mean, I don't have anything to do tonight. Except walk this way! <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Really wish the, wish the music would change. Actually, hold on. Can't I just do this? Hush. And then, hold on. I'm going to pause for just a sec. There we go. You'd never believe what I found. It's uh, Easy Lemon. But that's a, that's a little loud. Test. Test. Yeah, that's like super loud. Hold on. Let's turn that down just a little bit. A little bit more. There you go. We'll try that. But that way... We can have some music while we travel. Because I was, I was over the cave music. Or swamp music. Oops, sorry. I just hit my sock. By the way. Okay, check this out. I gotta show this to you. 
my daughter, she crocheted me a little cactus um, cozy for my coffee cup, but it works really well as a sound, sound sock. So I turned it upside down and now it becomes a sound sock. So or a pop mic. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. So thank you, Hope. I appreciate it. She made it for me. Anyhow, wow. This is going to make for an awesome thumbnail. Sorry if you guys thought it was clickbait. It's real. <laughs> like, code, I've never seen this part of the ocean before. I know. Nobody ever shows it to you. It's because it's, it's over here and it's unbuilt. I'm ready for boats, Defaultio. Josh, it's, it's 2024. Come on, bud. Let's get some boats in here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I don't think there's ever going to be boats. Which makes it, um, actually, wait. Never mind. <sighs> uh, eventually, hopefully, we'll have boats. I'm not going to be able to continue, am I? It's going to end right there. Should I pause it while I'm uh, waiting for the end? Yeah, we're at 36 minutes. Hold on. I'm going to pause. We're getting closer. We're getting right there to the end. And I'm not going to be able to make it any further than this. So, can I walk right on the edge? Is it possible? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Don't ask me how. <laughs> Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. <laughs> Wasn't that a meme? Like, oh gosh, 20, 2020. Barely on that edge. Okay. Oh, we're gonna fly. Oh, okay. Coming back down. All right. We're good. Nope. All right. Come back down. <clears throat> that is, it is intense trying to get it right on the line. Oh, I'm walking off the edge. I'm on the edge. Oh gosh. Is anybody else feeling intense right now? This is what it's like to have uh, Spearmint 5 level gum. I don't remember what it's called. I almost feel like I'm grinding a grind wheel and it's one pixel width. Intense concentration. Nobody screenshot this. <laughs> no. Oh God. Okay. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> Code why? <laughs> because I can. <laughs> the only reason. Until I can't. And then I'll stop the video. And I don't know why. Because it's fun. Oh gosh. <sighs> Hopefully I can get uh, my ladder built up for tomorrow. Instead of wasting time out here in the ocean, looking for things that I know don't exist out here. I'm not lying. I mean, nothing here. I 
kind of wish there were a secret out here. Something. Anything. A little plaque says code was here. Oh gosh. <laughs> or the skeleton of a boat <laughs> that should have been... <laughs> That'd be, that'd be funny. Put a wrecked ship out here. Like, oh, there's a boat. There's a boat in the game. Get it? Oh. No, leave the game as is. Le leave it alone. It's good enough. It's been here. It's a staple. We just want our seasonals. We want our pumpkins. And we want our Christmas. And our turkeys. That's it. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I got you, I got you. That is hard. Um, if you're questioning how, it's like this. My human, humanoid root part is not directly above the water. There's a ray being cast either up or down. It might be be cast down from the water to me. Anyhow, because my humanoid root part is not underneath the water, I'm not floating. That's why. If you if you need the explanation behind it. But And if you don't understand what I'm doing here with like the grind wheel that I keep referring to, this slight edge that you can see, it's just getting bigger, now smaller, which is just me going slightly left or slightly right to watch the texture. If the texture is getting smaller, I know I'm wa walking inward. If it's getting bigger, I know I'm walking outward, walking outward. And just maintaining it on that right side should allow me. Ooh. Is it getting bigger? Or yeah, it was. Very fine tuning. But whoop. Whoop. Hit it again. All right. Ooh. Little scary. We're good. There we go. Keep walking to the end. Wait. Where's the ocean floor? I can make that. We. Where's the ocean floor? Hold up. What's this? I didn't know it was open back here. What? Why can't I walk back here? Did a, did a piece not load in or is it really not? There really is no backside to the ocean. Mm. That makes me a little sad. <laughs> now, hold on. Um, let's stop the music and see if my music actually changed. Boop. And minimize. And then we can go back over here. Menu, settings, music. I am still recording. All right, it's been 45 minutes. <laughs> it's still the, the swamp music. Now, if you have your axe out and you get void killed, you will lose your axe. If you put it away, you shouldn't lose your axe when you get a void kill. Which, by the way, I'm gonna walk to the end of this. So, um, actually, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. I'm just gonna keep walking. If I find something cool, I'll unpause. Trust me, you're not missing anything. It's just a really long walk. 
I've been doing this just to entertain myself. We. And I guess it only happens if you keep touching the water. Like, if I don't touch the water, I don't get hurt. So as soon as your body stops in the water and it starts bobbing. Like that. I don't know. I found that interesting, so. Alright, hold on. Ooh. Okay, are we on pause? We're on pause. We're right at the 45 minute mark. And I do apologize for this video. It's going to be a little bit longer, but it is also October spooky season and we are expecting 30 minutes. Hopefully. That's, that is right on the edge. Right on the edge. And I'm just barely hanging on. Oh. <laughs> Do you, I don't know if you guys are seeing it. You, you see the, the texture, right? The, this line? up and down, right here in the middle. It's where the texture, you can tell that's the edge of the wall. Like, whoa! Uh oh. As long as you can see that texture starting to come over the edge. Oh, did I get it perfectly straight? <gasps> no, it's slowly shrinking, slowly shrinking. All right, turn left slightly. There we go, uh, a little too much. Come back to the right. There we go. Nice, low decrease. Ooh. We had a lighting change right there. There we go. Now I'm not going to be able to make it over there. But I might be able to make it on top of the rocks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Boink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I don't think I can make that jump. That is that is quite the ways over there. So, not going to be able to make it that direction. But we are over in the, uh, ow, was this the savannah? The tropics? I don't know where we're at. I should probably go do a, a cave video soon. Do I have an axon? Yeah, I got an axon. We can just do this. Can we long plank over here? <laughs> we just did. <laughs> Leave it alone. Let's go. All right. So, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things. It is spooky season. Get out there, start hunting. If you have one and you found one, post a picture of it inside my Discord. Let us know. I would love to see him. If you've got it on Twitter, take a snapshot of it and throw it on Twitter. At me. I want to see him. This is the time of the season to go and do this stuff. And especially get stocked up for those end times axes. These things. These babies right here. You gotta get them. Once a year, one day. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.